Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 1, subject general science, chapter 5, keeping clean, part 1. Now, uh, I would like to read this out for you. Gia and her pet dog Tommy have been playing in the puddles. Her mom makes Gia and Tom take a bath when they come home. Do you know why? Yes, because uh, when you go outside and when you play, becomes dirty. You become dirty. There is a lot of dust on you. There is a lot of germs on you, right? So when you come to your house, come back after playing, you should clean yourself. Take a bath or uh, just clean yourself before you do anything at home. Like that, uh, now if when you look around the place you're sitting or where you're standing, you would see a table, right? Now here you can see a dusty table and a clean table. Now a dusty table means there is a layer of dust present on that table. Okay, which is not good. The dust, if the dust is present, that means you have not been cleaning. So we should keep all the things clean around us. We should keep ourselves clean around, clean, and we should always keep everything around us clean. Now your mother, she usually cleans your house, right? Your mother, your father, they're the ones who keep the house clean it is your responsibility also to keep the house clean you just can't go around and dirtying the place you just can't go around throwing things everywhere in your house you are also responsible to clean the things okay now in the same way you need to um, dust rests in your body this dust contains germs now this boy you can see he's playing outside right he's playing with the mud now when he's playing with the mud there will be mud in his hand there will be mud in his toys there will be mud in his body now when this boy comes back home what is the first thing he has to do he is to take bath he has to clean himself right so the germs which are uh, present on our body when you play outside they cause this disease if we do not clean our body and house we will fall ill we should keep our self clean. We should keep our house also very, very clean. So it is our responsibility to keep the keep ourself and to keep our house clean. Now, presently, now it is very, very, very important because if you go outside and come inside, please wash your hands. You clean, clean yourself, change your clothes before you uh, walk inside the house or before you eat anything, right? Now, there are certain things that you need to do to keep your body clean and germ free. These germs are very, very difficult. These germs are present on our body and sometimes we cannot see these germs that are present on our body. What they do is they try to go inside our body and make us fall ill or we we fall ill if the germs enter our body. That is why we have to keep ourselves clean. Now following, you are going to learn few of the activities which you have to do to keep yourself clean. It is nothing but your personal hygiene. We should brush our teeth every day once in the morning and once at night. Before going to bed, you should all brush your teeth and then go to bed bed and when you wake up in the morning you should brush your teeth cleaning your teeth is very 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 important because whatever food that you eat it will uh, be remaining in your teeth your teeth will not be completely clean there will be small particles of the food or your uh, chocolates will be present in your teeth so you when you brush it you will clean all those food particles that are present in your teeth that is why you should brush as soon as you wake up the first thing in the morning don't drink coffee milk sugar water whatever it is you have to clean your mouth because overnight you were just your mouth was idle be lot of germs in your mouth overnight they would have grown 
so you should first clean your mouth in the early morning then you should take a bath every day very 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 important now you should take bath with one with a bucket of water and a mug don't you shower very often because there is lot of water wasted in the shower but you have to take bath every day if you don't take bath then you are very dirty there will be lot of germs it's germs means small worms with small small worms which you cannot see with your eyes it will be present on your body so you should take bath every day i'm sure each one of you do take bath but i am telling you to follow these steps first thing is you should brush early in the morning when you wake up and the night before and in the night before you go to bed so that is the first thing second thing is you should take bath every day every day you should take bath and you should keep yourself clean wear clean clothes after taking bath don't wear the same clothes which you were wearing before the bath right so you are your body and yourself you will be very clean and free of germs then we should shampoo our hair twice a week shampoo our hair wash our hair twice a week this is healthy because our hair there be lot of sweating in our hair also in our uh, head there be lot of sweating so to clean that twice a week you should take a shampoo bath or you should wash your hair twice a week to wash your hair twice a week if you wash it if you wash your hair every day your hair will become weak it is not good for the health for uh, the health of the hairs also so you should take a shampoo bath or you should wash your hair twice a week then wash your hands before and after eating your food now washing your hands are very very important present especially now right because lot of uh, viruses germs are going around in the air so you should wash your hands before and after eating food before eating food it is very very important to wash your hands after eating food you should clean your hands then we should cover our mouth while sneezing coughing and yawning these three things are basic physical a uh, basic things that you need to understand when you are coughing or sneezing or yawning you should cover your mouth it is not decent if you open your mouth and sneeze and cough and yawn because when you sneeze and cough all the germs that are present in your body comes out in the air if somebody else if, uh, smells it or if it goes into somebody else's body they will fall sick so when you are sneezing or coughing and or yawning you should cover your mouth then the last one we uh, trim your nails we should keep our nails clean and keep them trimmed do not bite your nails very very dirty some children I, some children will always keep biting their nails it is not good because our hands would have you would have played with your hands you would have you didn't have washed your hands and if you start biting your nails all the dirt that is present in your nails will enter your body which will make you unhealthy so you should not uh, bite the nails you should always trim your nails once a week okay once a week and don't do it in the evening because if you do it in the evening it will fall on the floor and it is not good for our health so you should neatly trim your nails and throw it outside then uh, as i told you do not bite your nails biting your nails is very very bad it is not good for our health so you should keep your trim nails trimmed and you should all not bite your nails so what are the things that you need to do to keep yourself body clean and germ free first you should brush your teeth every day morning and in the evening then you should take bath every day with a bucket of water and a mug you one bucket of water that is enough one maximum two buckets of water then we should shampoo our hair twice a week wash your hair twice a week wash your hands before and after eating your food wash your hands before and after eating your food very very important you should cover your mouth while sneezing or coughing or yawning right then 
we should keep our nails clean and keep them trimmed and you should never bite your nails biting your nails is bad habit you should always have good habits so you should not bite your nails stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you